Okay, so today we're going to be installing a zone interface module. Basically, this kind of module allows you to have two wire conventional smoke detectors on addressable systems. So, right here I have my two SLC wires. Um, this one's from the previous device and this one's to the next device. As we can see, they haven't been stripped yet, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So now we're going to go ahead and wire in our SLC wires to the module. Um, this particular module, um, SLC wires are one and two. One is the negative. On the newer modules, they sort of look like this. Um, it's again T1 and T2, and T1 is negative, so they're pretty similar. Um, today I'm going to be installing it on the older type. So black is minus, red is plus. Gonna go ahead and put those in. There we go, now we have our SLC wired up. Okay, I've got my power wire here. This is coming in from the resettable power on the fire alarm control panel, 24 volts DC. Um, it hasn't been stripped yet, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Alright, now that our wire is stripped, we can go ahead and wire it in on 3 and 4 on our module. 3 is negative. On the newer modules, you'll actually wire it, wire it up here on T11 and T10. T11 is the negative. Alright, I've now got my two zone wires here. You're probably asking why two? Well, I'm going to be wiring this with a class A circuit just because it's better. So we'll go ahead and get wiring. So in terminals uh, 9 and 8, I'm going to go ahead and wire in the resistor. Here it is. Just going to put it in and then wire it up. resistor is all wired up and then now we can go ahead and wire um, the other part, the zone wires, going to the device, which would be 7 and 6, and I believe that 7 is positive. Alright, here we go. Our module is now fully wired. We can go ahead and tuck everything back into the box here. Okay, now that everything's kind of tucked back in there, we can go ahead and tighten these two screws and secure the module to the back box. All right, once that is secured to the back box, you can go ahead and use the rotary switches to set your zone address. And this one will be number three. So we're gonna keep the tens in the zero and then the one, and then in the ones place, we'll just move it to three. That's two, one more. There we go, now it's at three. All right, once your rotary switches are set, we can go ahead and screw in our cover plate here. All this plate basically does is protect the module, so. Go ahead and screw in the two screws. Alright, there we go. The module is now all installed. Now we can go ahead and move on to our two-wire smoke detector. Alright, so now we're at where we're going to install our two-wire conventional smoke detector. So first thing we're going to go ahead and do is uh, take this metal plate off the back box here. Alright, the back box is now open and exposed. We're going to go ahead and take our two wires here, just kind of pull them out, get them ready. But first, before we do any wiring, we're going to go ahead and take our two wire smoke detector and install the mounting bracket. There we go, the mounting bracket is now installed and we can go ahead and strip these two wires here. Alright, once 
once your wires are stripped, you can go ahead and wire the plus to the pluses and the negative to the negative, and you don't have to worry about a resistor because I used a class A circuit. And then once that is done, you can go ahead and install your smoke detector head. This is a system sensor I3. Next, you're gonna wanna go ahead and program in your new module on the fire alarm control panel. I'll show you how to do it if you're using a Firelight MS9200 UDLS. So what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is go into your panel settings, uh, select point program, and then you're gonna select module, and then you're gonna select add, and then enter in the rotary number that, that you selected on the module and then it's going to be a monitor I believe and then it's added. Okay once your module is added you're going to want to go ahead and go back a couple steps and then hit edit which is number three. Enter in your module you just installed and then you're going to scroll down and then enter in um, some information about it. So for instance number two this is going to be a two wire detector Oh, there, just saw it up there. Smoke conventional. That's what it is. So, there it is. And then enter in any other information that you think the panel needs to, to know about it. So, and then once you're all done, you can go ahead and push the reset button. Alright, once you've programmed in your module on the fire alarm control panel, there's three simple checks I like to do. Um, just to verify that I wired everything right. The first one, just go up to your module. If it's blinking, if the red light in there is blinking, then you did everything right. The second check is go up to your smoke detector. If you see a, a blinking light on it, that means it's good. In this case, it'll be the green light, and I just saw it blink, so um, the smoke detector is good. And then the third and most effective step, in my opinion, is testing the detector itself. When you do this, just make sure your dialer is disabled or you called your monitoring company and let them know you're gonna do some testing of the fire alarm system. That way the fire department doesn't show up, show up at your building thinking there's a fire. So in this case, no dialer is hooked up to my system. So we can go ahead and test the smoke detector. All right, the red light went on. The module light just went solid and the fire alarms are going off, and that verifies I tested and installed everything correctly. All right, that was the video. Thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.